again, there's people watching this this podcast or listening to this podcast, and they're going to have different amounts in their bank. Some of them are going to have ten thousand. Some of them are going to have a hundred thousand, and then some people are going to have five hundred thousand. So, from your perspective, because I said you've got you've got the experience, I would love to know what you would do starting with ten thousand pounds. So. £10,000 has just come into your bank. You know, I don't know what you've done to get it. You've just won it in a casino. Bam, £10,000. What is your next move in property? Go. Right. So I would say if £10,000 was to hit my bank, obviously it's not... I think everyone wants, if they go to property, is to put property to be their main source of income. Okay. Mm -hmm. £10,000, obviously I couldn't leave my day job um so what i do is run something alongside so maybe by finding that relationship that we talked about earlier is to lend say someone like yourself that got that trusted relationship with to start with that ten thousand with some interest to pay back once you finish your projects okay however or you could go down that armchair investing route and actually yep. start investing in projects say on crowd properties website mm-hmm. it, get to know what the money's doing you get to know how it all works it's paid yes. back at the end so you're gaining your knowledge at that time and obviously you're not going to make thousands of thousands of pounds on it but it's a start okay yeah. and, or if you if you if you if you wanted to like you say you could invest like you want to spread the risk you want to mitigate the risk so you don't want to just give alec here's 10k because if it does go wrong you've got nothing back yeah, and all of a sudden you're still working in whatever area you're working in, and now you've got no part of it. Um, so it's kind of utilizing that, um, maybe courses, um, so you can actually not spend all ten thousand on a course, but go to shows, go to events, or start building up because you're gaining relationships, and that's much more valuable than that ten thousand pound. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously, Simon Zucci has a, a course. Um, I'm not aware of the price of the course, but obviously things like that, as you said, it, although it, you're spending ten thousand pounds, it's an investment, investment into relationships, and those relationships uh, will be worth more than ten thousand pounds come the end of of your career, right? Um, yeah, I, like, I say to people like like Simon's course, for example. Again, I'm not quite sure on the price, uh, but they say, "Oh, Tom, have you done Simon Zucci's mastermind?" And it's like, well, I don't kind of need to because I've got that network of people for what I do as a living. Yeah. I've been to them, I've sat in with the room, I've spoke to all the clients, I deal with them on a daily basis because they propose projects to me. Um, but that money, like you say, is invested because you're building that team and that's oh, yeah. it's gold, gold mining. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, this goes back, I don't know if you, Simon Sinek, it's, it's the infinite versus finite game it's like you're not you're not playing to win with with ten thousand pounds especially like you you just want to stay in the game get yourself in the game you're 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 meant to be playing this game forever so when you look at it that way that ten thousand pounds will really not be much in the grand scheme of things um the other thing i thought which i would do and i have done myself so i was an agent in canary wharf for a while um when i wanted to learn about property so get become an agent become a surveyor become a obviously that's slightly harder than just becoming an agent but lowest barrier to entry become an agent start meeting landlords getting to know landlords like building up that side of of your contacts as well that if you've got ten thousand pound obviously it's not a life-changing amount of money but as you said you can you can use it but i I, if it was me and i ten thousand pound dropped to my account and i was starting again I'd probably become an agent and yeah, do what we call it an earn and learn. So it would be invest the 10,000 pounds into one of our projects, your projects, whoever's projects. And um, yeah, you learn on the side, you become a little bit more involved than you would if you were just like an armchair investor. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think that's the way. And I could go back to where we started about the networking side of it. It is safe, yeah. like 10,000 pounds now and you were like wondering what to do. Um, you could meet five other trusted people with your relationship building skills. You've got five people now. They could all have 10 grand. So in fact, yeah. now your company has got 50,000 pounds. And that's there is a starting point because 
obviously we know properties really bucket high at the moment but there's some good deals out there uh probably not in bristol because it's expensive probably not in birmingham but if you went further north you can buy houses uh for forty thousand pounds uh yeah. i guess the most best areas I, I don't know they could be it could be a really good deal um and it might only need 10k cost of works inside yeah and you can buy that and there's your first project as a team yeah 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 and that gives you the credibility you know yeah it's definitely just just get that first deal over the line as well and you've got that credibility you've got you got the learnings you might make some mistakes and all that sort of stuff so perfect um okay so that's the ten thousand pound 